The Vacuum Within Hotfix 2. This means the vacuum within is actually not the vacuum within anymore because they've taken the vacuum ability or the passive off every Sentinel, including Carrier. None of them have it built in anymore. But of course, don't worry, it does still exist. It can still be used on any of the Sentinels. I still think Worm is massively overlooked because his it says it does a radial stun as his ability, but really it's not. It's radial blind. It is basically radial blind, which makes him really useful as a sentinel. It's just most people stuck with Carrier because Carrier sucks. Quite literally, the vacuum sucks up items. And of course, when they did ditch it, Ammo Case came in. But no, there's vacuum, so one single click and... Carrier has returned to the way he was, which is a slap in the face to Carrier because, honestly, Ammo Case is a hell of a useful mod, with it basically turns Carrier into a giant ammo converter. So personally, I kind of think I'm just going to leave him like that. But of course, with Vacuum returning as a mod, it does mean fitting it in here. And obviously for me, that's not such a problem because... 90% of the time I'm not running a actual weapon despite the fact that I have Striker currently equipped. Let's pretend that's not there. <laughs> Most of the time I'm not running the actual ability to fire because I use the Sentinels more for its ability to replenish shields, replenish health, the loot radar side of it and obviously whatever the Sentinel's ability is, usually Helios and his ability to scan items. So for me, it's not a biggie because I'll just dump it right there and problem solved. And then when I do go on higher level stuff that I do need him to shoot with, I'll just put it back. Or run a second build and uh, yeah, there it is. Basically, uh, hang on, hang on, that's wrong. You should be there and you should be there. Sorted. <laughs> so you would have one with the ability to shoot and one with the ability to have vacuum on it. Vacuum, of course, being on the first one, right there, and Striker being on the second one. And then when I need him to shoot, I just swap to the B setup, leaving him on the A setup where he doesn't shoot and basically has his vacuum and still with ammo case. But this is kind of a problem for other Sentinels. Helios. Uh, yeah, I'd, it's probably going to be exactly the same thing. But I, the more I played with this, the more I realized the easy way to fit it and keep the ability to shoot was to just ditch regen. And the more I think about it, the more that isn't going to happen. I would rather have the ability to have vacuum and the sentinel come back to life once than the ability for it to shoot at things. Which sucks, because Helios is... If you use it with the Helios as merely a sentinel weapon, is cool because he throws his body at things. Hence the reason Helios looks like this, because he throws the arm, the face, the tail, the other arm, and it's basically just a floating orb in the middle. And the rest of it gets thrown at enemies, because it's his melee attack, it's basically like a glaive, which looks cool, but I tend to run it with Striker, <laughs> so I never really use it anyway. And again, same thing, I'll probably set up a base setup and give it back the ability to shoot when you need to go on levels that shoot. But of course this returning as a mod, the fact it's gone from a 6 meter range as a passive, which I liked, it meant you could use other sentinels, which as soon as it happened, I went straight to Daydream because Fatal Attraction and its ability to draw enemies to you can be really, really, really useful. But when it came to actually fitting the mod, because it's a newly formatted sentinel yeah i did have to ditch regen which isn't really that good of an idea because regen it does bring the sentinel back to life once at least it's supposed to i am not sure if that's still working because i've watched my sentinel explode multiple times and not come back recently because doing high level stuff like the i say high level high damage stuff where there's lots of enemies kind of like i'm trying to remember what it was called the long shadow from last week Lost my Sentinel every mission on there, and I never really saw it come back, but I wasn't really paying attention. I just, all of a sudden, the 
Animal instinct stopped working. I couldn't see the enemies. Look over and yeah, the sentinel's gone. <laughs> Nothing you can really do about it. But that's where things like shade came in useful. Because you'd make you go invisible and a shade prime would be amazing. When you think about it, I think he has the most health out of all of them. Ignoring primes. Yeah, he's got the most health out of all of them. Coming in par with uh, the sniper one. So yeah, Torn, I don't really know if I like this a lot or whether I don't like it. I mean, the fact that it now has a 12 meter range is good. The fact that the vacuum within is now not the vacuum within, it's now a mod, kind of seems really weird to do this early after the, the update came out called the vacuum within.